need the oozing confidence on their two-handers. A little reprieve there from Zachary's perspective. That could have got a little interesting at Juice, as it is. Somehow, we found ourselves in a tie-break. Stefan desperate for his player not to unravel. Frustration boiling over. Code 212 than 305. And I give Herbach and his coach Stefan a lot of credit tonight because you mentioned earlier he hasn't always been the most positive from the stands, but he has been nothing but positive towards Rubakina. <laughs> trying desperately to get her. Well, that's Sakari's coach talking about the other one. He's trying desperately to get her through the match. David Witt always pretty chill and calm over in the player box. Just the third ace, but a hugely valuable one. the opportunity and you've got to do something different if you're Rabakina the same kick serve and Sakari has been on it and keeps herself in this breaker with that point Three points. What a wild end of the second set between these two, Rabakana and Sakari. Uh, Sakari saving two match points. This match was so close to being over, and uh, we're headed to a third set. Uh, Sakari winning the tiebreaker in the second. And um, uh, it was interesting. Uh, Rabakana won the first set, and immediately after winning the first set, she, she sits down in her chair uh, for the break. Uh, changeover, and she's immediately upset with herself, shaking her head, shaking her head at her coach. So she won the first set, and she's upset. So don't know if she was uh, feeling some pain anywhere physically or mentally, was just wasn't happy. But I, I, really, everyone, including me, the commentators, me, uh, people watching this match uh, all around the world, uh, agreed that uh, Rabakina played a great first set, but she was still upset. So I guess she's just either feeling bad. Uh, of course, she was very sick during Indian Wells, didn't get out of bed for a week. Uh, literally, that's what she said. She was in bed for a week. Or uh, she um, was just mentally uh, a little bit drained after that first set. But 
Um, this match turned a little bit wild, a little bit exciting. Fans started to come into the stadium. There weren't a lot of fans uh, in the beginning of this match in the stadium, and now there there are quite a bit of fans uh, after a few matches ended uh, on the grounds over there in the Miami Open. And uh, a lot of fire in this one. The athletic, athletically built Sakari. Uh, I have a habit of saying Sakari, but apparently it's Sakari. And uh, the tall and powerful Robakina. Uh, in this one, Kazakhstan versus Greece, and it's a beautiful thing to see. A uh, very um, mouth-watering match, if you will, in this quarterfinal. Uh, whoever ends up winning this one may very well win the whole thing. So watching right along with you, hope you're enjoying um, uh, these uh, an analyzations of, of what's going on. Um, <laughs> it was an interesting moment when... Uh, Robakina was talking to her coach right before the tiebreaker started, and Sakari just kind of stared, stared Robakina down. Was was kind of maybe trying to get some intel, if you will. Um, sometimes uh, when Robakina looks at her team on the side of the court, they don't speak English, and sometimes they do. Uh, there is definitely a camera on uh, Robakina's team on the side of the court throughout the entire match. The the camera doesn't leave them because. Uh, Robakina's coach is one of the most talkative coaches in his player's ear on tour, maybe number one, but he's showing a lot of positivity in this one, but we'll see what happens as the match goes along. This, it always seems to be kind of a love hate relationship between Robakina and her, t and her main coach on the side of the court. If you remember that moment last year, uh, I believe it was the Miami open, if I'm not mistaken, uh, Robakina literally looked at her coach during the match, uh, during a match and said, shut up, shut up. So it does get a little heated uh, between the two. But um, our beloved Iga Sviantek, she is, uh, um, of course, out of this tournament. She lost to uh, Alexandrova yesterday in straight sets. She basically got murdered, bless her heart, off the court. But we cannot wait to see her back. Uh, don't know if it's going to be Madrid or um, Stuttgart. I think Madrid's next, uh, which makes me kind of sad because we won't see uh, Iga on court for another couple of weeks. But... So much uh, good tennis, uh, not only in this tournament, but but coming up, we have the Charleston Open. I believe it starts on April first, so it'll be uh, after this weekend. And um, I think I think Pagula played in the Charleston Open uh, last year. We'll see if she does it again. But um, and Pagula is still in this Miami Open. We got Pagula, we got Navarro, uh, we have um, Azarenka who beat Putin Save it today. And then we have um, Sakari and Robakina, and I feel like I'm forgetting someone. Uh, Garcia. I always forget who Caroline Garcia is playing. Uh, who is Caroline Garcia playing? So someone looked that up. Um, I should have the draw right in front of me, but I don't. It is super late right now in the United States. Uh, if you're watching overseas or anywhere around the world, thank you so much. Um, so many people watching in Poland and uh, in the United States and the United Kingdom as well. Um, but we have a lot of uh, viewers in uh, Asia, Africa, and, and of course here uh, throughout North America. If you haven't subscribed on Best Muscle Video on YouTube, please do so. Uh, it's so much fun uh, seeing uh, the support. And um, even better would be uh, hitting that thanks button. That thanks button. You see it right there on your phone, on your, on your computer. It just says the word thanks on the bottom right of the video player. And you just click on that word thanks. And you can send me money that way, and it's super easy to do uh, through YouTube, through Google, uh, and it works anywhere around the world, so pretty much anywhere around the world. So uh, if you're sending me some right now, thank you so much. I love seeing those thanks notifications on my iPhone. Um, and please uh, DM me on Instagram and so I can say thank you because um, it's very much appreciated. And also when you send, you use the thanks button, uh, it automatically puts a uh, notification, uh, I believe, in the comment section of this video, so I'll be able to comment back and and show my love and appreciation. Sakari, not Sakari, Sakari and Robakina. A lot of people say I'm saying Robakina's name wrong. Really, I um, just go by what Lindsay Davenport uh, pronounces it as. So if me and Lindsay are pronouncing uh, Elena Robakina's name wrong, uh, I apologize. Uh, we will get it right someday. But uh, these two powerhouse athletes are on court right now in the third set let's get back to it and watch this watching this right along with you guys uh watching it right along with you are you watching on your phone or your computer or your tvs tonight 
Uh, for me, it's on a desktop computer here in South Lake, Texas, uh, which is a suburb of Dallas. And uh, it's about, I think it's about 9 p.m. Central right now, so that would make it 3 a.m.-ish in Poland. And uh, not sure what time it is, to be honest with you, in Kazakhstan or in Greece. Well, let's get back to it. Thank you so much. Hit that thanks button, and let's see what happens. Who is going to win this one? To be honest with you, I have no idea. It's super close.